The series of slides explain changes affecting market equilibrium. We will cover the following topics. First we'll explain the demand supply and the equilibrium price and quantity briefly. Then we will contrast changes in quantity demanded to changes in demand. And finally we will contrast changes in quantity supplied to changes in supply. This presentation is about demand supply and the equilibrium price and quantity. Demand refers to the quantities of a good or service that potential buyers are willing to buy during a certain period, and it can be illustrated by means of a demand curve. The demand curve demonstrates how much of a product people are willing to buy at different prices. Let's show a demand curve. We look at the demand for electricity. On the vertical axis, we show the price of electricity in cents per kilowatt hours, and on the horizontal axis, we show the quantity of electricity in gigawatt hours. The demand curve slopes downwards from left to right. Let's explain this. At a low price, for example, 80 cents per kilowatt hours, the quantity demanded will be 300 gigawatt hours of electricity. When the price increases, for example, 260, Consumers find ways to use less electricity, for example, they start cooking with gas. The quantity demanded of electricity decreases. When the price increases even further, for example, to 240, consumers find ways to use even less electricity, for example, using gas to heat water and alternative energy sources to heat their homes. Therefore, the quantity demanded of electricity decreases further. The demand curve therefore slopes downwards from left to right. At a lower price, the quantity of electricity demanded is higher. Now we look at supply. Supply refers to the quantities of a good or service that potential suppliers are willing to supply during a certain period. We can illustrate this by a supply curve, which demonstrates how much of a good suppliers are willing to supply at different prices. We show the supply curve on the vertical axis, we show the price of electricity, on the horizontal axis we show the quantity. The supply curve slopes upwards from left to right. Let's explain. At a relatively low price of 80 cents per kilowatt hours, the quantity that supplied of electricity is relatively low. When the price of electricity increases, more suppliers can produce electricity effectively and will enter the market and therefore the quantity supplied will increase. When the price increases even further, for example to 240, even more suppliers can effectively produce electricity and will enter the market and the quantity supplied increases even more. Now we're going to look at equilibrium. We show the same supply curve that we just discussed and we add the demand curve that we previously explained. As you can see, there is only one price, namely 160, where there is equilibrium. That is where the quantity demanded of electricity is equal to the quantity supplied. Let's consider a price higher than the equilibrium price, for example 240. At this price, the quantity supplied exceeds the quantity demanded. This is a situation of excess supply and re will result in downward pressure on prices. When prices of electricity decrease, the quantity supplied of electricity will decrease, the quantity demanded of electricity will increase, and this will keep on happening until the price is again at 160 where the quantity demanded equals the quantity supplied. If the price of electricity is lower than the equilibrium price, for example 80 cents per kilowatt hours, the quantity demanded exceeds the quantity supplied. This is a situation of excess demand and will result in upward pressure on prices. When the price of electricity increases, the quantity demanded will decrease, the quantity supplied will increase, and this will keep on happening until we're back at the equilibrium price of 160, where quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied. 
Let's test if you understand this. If the price in a market is above the equilibrium price, this creates a shortage, a surplus, neither a shortage nor a surplus. Stop this video and first try to answer this question yourself. Use this graph to help you. As you can see, if the price is above the equilibrium price, this creates a surplus. Here's another question. When the price is below the equilibrium price, the price tends to decrease or increase due to excess supply or decrease or increase due to excess demand or remain at the, at the same level. Stop this video and try to answer the question yourself. Use this graph. As you can see, when the price is below the equilibrium price, the price tends to increase due to excess demand. If you could not answer these questions correctly, work through this video again. In the next video, we will discuss a change in the quantity demanded that will take place due to a change in the price level.